welcome to Talk Time. My guest today is Mr. Liaquat Ali Lucky, Director General of the Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy, a multifarious personality, actor, director, singer, composer, and of course, a cultural organizer. Mr. Liaquat Ali Lucky, welcome to my show. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Pleasure. You know, who is the real Liaquat Ali Lucky? You know, a good Bangladeshi, a good global citizen, a friend of India, a friend of Assam, because you have been a fan of the legendary Dr. Bhuben Hazarika. And we are talking at our studios, Mr. Liaquat Ali Lucky, on the 92nd birth anniversary of the maestro. First of all, I am a human being. Yep. You know, this is the philosophy of our land, also the philosophy of uh, this region, especially Bangladesh, Assam, India. And, um, you know, uh, from the very beginning, my career started with uh, the music. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1962, I started my, in the, in the childhood, ah, I used to sing the song. Okay. I used to sing the song of uh, Tagore, Nazrul, mm -hmm. and folk song. Yeah. And um, after two years, uh, in 1964, uh, it was my first, uh, you know, acting life. Drama life. 64. In 1964. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, I was uh, singing side by side with the, with the drama. And after liberation, after 1971, I... Uh, Entered in in, in Bulbul Lalit Kala Academy yeah. in classical music. Mm -hmm. you, so you are a trained classical singer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can say trained, but I had to do many lot of things. So it's, yeah, yeah I, I completed the diploma in mm -hmm. classical music, but I was thinking, what uh, will do after that? I I am not yeah. that uh, strong enough to uh, go for classical singer. Yeah, uh, something like that. So I used to sing uh, many songs, mm -hmm. but after hearing the song of uh, Dr. Bhupin Hajarika and also one of my uh, teachers from Bangladesh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sri Ajit Roy, yeah. uh, I, you know, decided that I'll be singing the song of... Uh, so so, you know, when did you first meet Dr. Bhupen Hazarika? Because he met you once, you know, you used to sing his cover and he said uh, you are great and he conferred, uh, he described you as the Bhupen of Bangladesh. Is that true? And when did you first meet him? You know, I met him uh, late uh, part of the uh, 70s, mm -hmm. but you know, I, I would like to say I was carrying his uh, philosophy, his song, uh, after the liberation of Bangladesh, mm -hmm. after 71. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, our father of the nation, uh, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, yeah. first invited him to Bangladesh to sing the song. He was very fan of Dr. Bhupen Hazarika, as well the yeah. the current uh, you know, mm -hmm. Prime Minister, Sheikh mm -hmm. Hasina also, very, very... Mm -hmm. very he, he sang that, uh, Bhupenda sang that famous marching song, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A lot of songs even uh, based on uh, liberation movement. Yes. And especially the song, uh, you know, uh, that moved me, Amiyak Jajabar, Manush Manushir Junne, Gonga Mama, Padda Mama. And when I tried to explore him, and every song becomes yeah. You know, the part of my philosophy, mm -hmm. I was moved. And so, then I, uh, uh, first of all, uh, you know, I published one uh, cassette. And at that time, there was no CD. Yeah. So uh, after uh, that, I went to Kolkata. Was it an album or what? Uh, it's just an album, mm -hmm. sort of. And then uh, I... I have seen in the newspaper there will be a musical program by Dr. Bhupen Hazarika and in also Kolkata. in Kolkata mm -hmm. in Rabindra Shadan. So I you went there. I went there. I watched the program, and then yeah. I thought that I will meet him in the backstage. Uh, I was also shivering uh, whether he will talk to me mm -hmm. or something like that. He did meet you, is it? Yeah, he he, he met mm -hmm. me. And I said, Dada, no. if you have the possibility, please uh, 
uh, I'm giving the cassette, so if you just listen. Yeah. Immediately he told me, you come to my house uh, tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, then I was... So, so you had... And I, I met him in the se exact time at uh, 11 o'clock in, in his house. And when he uh, opened the door, he embraced me and said, I, I heard your song and you are the Bhupen of Bangladesh. You are the Bhupen of Bangladesh. And so the maestro himself uh, meeting you at his residence and saying, after listening to your kisat, so that's a, that's a great honor. And I cannot just leave the Bhupen of Bangladesh uh, by you know, not asking you to sing at least a few lines of one of your favorite songs of Bhupenda. I mean, how can I do that? And uh, my viewers will not uh, sort of, you know, excuse me. Chukru chal chal kari oguma Ki betha antare oguma Bhanguni je khela chari dhar Niya jida nekotar Chukru chal chal kari Oguma. So, so, Mr. Liakatali Lucky, the model of the story, as, as every music, you see, music is absolutely universal. It doesn't uh, recognize any boundaries. Now, today, when you look at uh, the situation, you know, whether it is Bangladesh, whether it is India, uh, there is that divide. There is a border. We have our own geography. You have yours. So as a cultural personality, as the Director General of Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy, which is the national academy in Bangladesh, it's set up by an act of parliament within three years of Bangladesh's creation, Mr. Liyakat Alilaki. What do you think is the role of the soft power? We always talk about people-to-people -people contact, but the perceptions, man-on-the-street opinion in Bangladesh, or for that matter in Guwahati, may be quite sort of, you know, you know what I'm hinting at. Man of the man on the street opinion may not be quite palatable on both sides. That's the same story on both sides. What can culture do? What can a person like you do? What culture can do uh, if you uh, just uh, look at uh, the philosophy of the song of Dr. Pupin yes, Hadarika, that's you'll why find I'm everything. You. Everything you will find. It's, it's like Shankho Chil, you know, the yeah. music is like that. Absolutely. And Bhisti no dhupari a shankho manushir haha kar shune nishabde nirabe o ganga tumi ganga voi chokana So, he was the um, master of the, all singers of uh, the oppressed people you know yeah the the uh, the civilization the humanity you know is uh, originated from the farmer yeah for the absolutely that is that is that is that is that is what he tried to focus on that point that uh, nobody should be uh, oppressed you know so that must be the philosophy so so Nobody should be oppressed. That is the philosophy. We all want that no one should be oppressed. But Mr. Liakatali Lucky, but you know, the subcontinental politics, the politics in the subcontinent, whether it is India, whether it is Bangladesh, uh, it is all the same. It's at the end of the day, people just want to win elections. But who is bothered about the common people? Who is bothered about people to people contact? Who is bothered about good neighborly relations? So these are issues which comes only, uh, I mean, not always because I think uh, that is the job of the civil society, people like you. I think uh, on our side also we have the cultural academies. Uh, so the culture can do a lot, that's what I'm asking you, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, culture is only weapon, only weapon, because this is the touchstone, the standard. Culture is a touchstone. Yeah. Touchstone. Yeah. Ah, because uh, the, what matters, the love, the humanity, the civilization, the love is very important. You know, at the end of uh, his life, uh, Dr. Bhup, uh, you know, uh, Rabindranath Tagore has said 
that to I, I had the idea that uh, the civilization and the humanity came from the West, but it's not true. The the civil uh, the humanity civilization that, that originated in the East, and if you want to save the yeah. humanity and civilization, the East has to play a very important role because uh, you know the region has to play the uh, important role from where the sun rises. You know, yeah. that is the philosophy of our, uh, you know, east uh, of our land, and that has to carry, and it carries by only the cultural people, you know, the singer, the m uh, musician, the artist, all sort of, uh, you know, th this is the basics of our... Absolutely. Now, now one thing I'd like to ask you, Mr. Uh, uh, Katali, is this, uh, you know, in the last 20 years, perhaps uh, it's only now in the last four years that India-Bangladesh relations have seen an upswing uh, since Narendra Modi has come in 2014. Relations have really improved. Now, basically on one side, uh, you have the Army League government, which has got a close relationship between the elections are coming once again. Now, what about the people? Uh, okay, we know that government to government relations have improved, that your prime minister says that, our prime minister says that. But what about the common people? How do we remove the mistrust? Why are people, I mean, the sentiment of the people, this is what I'm repeatedly asking. Where has, what is, what has gone wrong, you think? Actually, what is the bond is between us? The bond is, is uh, the culture, the secular mind, you know. Uh, in, 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 in Bangladesh liberation, India helped us a yes, lot. Yes. It's a very, very important yes. role. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we could not, uh, you know, be get the freedom within nine months. And uh, in in our, you know, the democracy, uh, socialism, and uh, secularism. Uh, this is uh, this is the basics of our uh, our uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, freedom fighting and and the liberation war, and which is very much related uh, uh, to the Indian subcontinent's philosophy. We carry that, and you know uh, during uh, the uh, British regime, what was their uh, you know motto to divide and rule, it's dividing between the religion. So, so there is there is still a lot of scope for the two people to come together and work for the benefit of the two countries. That's what you were basically hinting at. On that note, we shall go for a short break now, Stern. When I come back, I'll continue my conversation with Mr. Liakat Ali Lucky and talk about innumerable plays that he has acted in and, of course, directed. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm in conversation with Mr. Liakat Ali Lucky, the Director General of the Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy, the country's national academy, and of course, a very, very acclaimed actor and director. Mr. Liakat Ali uh, Lucky, you know, uh, you have acted in more than 60 or more productions. You have directed about 100, uh, you know, plays, and as you've also written a dozen of them. Uh, but yet you have enough time to sing and compose and run the Silpakala Academy, which is the National Academy, which is concerned about spreading Bangladesh's uh, arts, performing arts and culture all around the world. How do you make time for all this? I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I live with the culture, I dream with culture, I, yeah. uh, in my profession, mm -hmm. in every time. But at, uh, of course, uh, my, uh, my spirit of my land is uh, a source of inspiration and of many icon, of course, the father of the nation, Bangamundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go through his life, yeah, the whole life, every second, he thought about the people, he thought of the, the freedom and everything. Um, yeah, it was my... At the age of 63, I can say I passed a very interesting time. You know, I have yeah. participated about 82 international theatre and cultural festivals. 
and I send the uh, uh, same number of uh, the groups from mm -hmm. Japan to Cuba. Yeah. No, no, that, that's a very, that's a, that's a huge figure. And uh, basically, I mean, so the relevance of soft, soft power diplomacy, uh, through culture, through arts, through performing arts, through music. Uh, so, I mean, that is something which uh, particularly the countries in the world today, you think, uh, should uh, propagate and push forward, the yeah. soft power? Yeah, that is, I, I, you know, Rabindranath, uh, Najrul, yeah. Lalan Shaiji, and all the iconic people, you know, the, what was our philosophy? They came, we came to, uh, you know, in this world to give something to the other part of the world. We don't uh, ask anything, please give me, or we, we, we didn't beg uh, uh, yeah. any time, no way. You know, uh, Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bosch, he invited the, the, the formula for radio, you know. Yes. When he has been asked, please uh, patent your uh, script and, and everything, he says, no, why? You, then he, he said that uh, you will be uh, uh, gaining a lot of uh, wealth, you will be earning a lot of money. And he replied, what he replied? He said, no, this is, this is not for me. My invention is for humanity, for the people. Absolutely. And, and not, the the not, day, not only for the people of my region or my country. It's, a, it's for, for humanity, for all of no, the people of the world. Absolutely. At the end of the day, it is directed at the people who are the beneficiaries of all this with our uh, great icons. And then, but my question to you, uh, Mr. Liakatuli Lucky, is that when we talk about culture, uh, I mean, the Bangladeshi culture is also rooted in absolute tradition. It's a very traditional society. Now, my question is, what about the influences of the West? You know, when you talk to a lot of people, said, oh, you know, Western culture is influencing our social culture is becoming decadent, and so on and so forth. People, some people are worried. So, is there any cause for worry? When I talk to, I mean, uh, recently, you know, Ustad Hamzad Ali Khan Saab was on this particular program. Uh, I don't need to tell you who he is, but, but he said that we are not at all worried. Indian classical music is absolutely in, absolutely in safe because the roots are so strong that no cult, no influence can sort of you know shake it. Now, what do you think? Uh, I mean, what about the culture? I, I'm asking about Bangladeshi uh, folk culture tradition. No, no. Actually, what is what is our philosophy uh, regarding this? You know, we open uh, the window, and when we get uh, the uh, beautiful things, we accept it. Yeah. And uh, if we, we sing, it, it, it does not match with my culture, we refuse it. We close the door. This is, this is the power. Because we have strong, strong basics of uh, culture and tradition. You know? So sh you know, uh, the, uh, that, uh, that is what should we do now but, uh, for the f future generation. Yeah. We have to show them this is the tradition, thousand and thousand years tradition. You have, you don't have to go for the tradition which is only. But but, but that means that, means, that, means, that, that means you are not a very worried man. Yeah. You are not worried. Of course, I am a very positive man. Culture is always positive. But you are not worried about the influence of the West on no, the no, culture. No. It's too strong. Very strong. Very strong. Only, only thing. But what, what about assimilation? What about integration? What about accepting a newer from subculture? What about fusion? Uh, I mean, are you against that? Are you in support of that? Or what do you think? A lot of, lot of fusion work is going on. That again, I, I come to Dr. Bhupen Hadjai. I asked him, Dada, uh, Western instrument, say drum or keyboard, anything, should we accept it? He said, he has to talk. He has to, he has to, uh, you know, uh, uh, match with my song and the, my, my lyric and music is very important. If it comes with that, you know, then I can accept it and that will not be important. The important will be my lyric, my song and my philosophy. No, 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 uh, you know, we have been talking, uh, now you are also a great composer. You are a singer. Now, uh, let's keep aside. What has been one of your most interesting, or I don't know, uh, composition? I mean, in recent years uh, that you remember. 
and uh, I'd like to hear it, of course. Uh, uh, on an, any particular pertinent issue in the subcontinent, in your country, about the, e I mean, I'm sure you deal with issues. That is what you do. Uh, you know, recently what happened, there was an incident in Dhaka, uh, Holy Art region. Yes. Uh, so after that, I, I watched that uh, West uh, as pushing uh, our government Please accept. You have the terrorist in your you country. You have terrorism in the country. You have the terrorism. Mm -hmm. You have to accept. Then immediately I uh, wrote a song. Uh, I have written a song and then I composed. Uh, you will find in the uh, YouTube. It's Emati noy jungi badir, Emati mano batar, Emati noy jungi badir, Emati mano batar. Baule rectara koi Manushi morabota Rimati noi jungi badir. This is not the e land of. Rimati noi jungi badir. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. This is not a land for terrorism. Uh, terrorism. This terrorism. is the humanity, mm -hmm. the land of humanity. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so, is this the biggest cause of worry in the Indian subcontinent today? Terrorism. What do you think? Uh, yeah, of course, the other part of the world or world politics will try to hamper our peace and tranquility. They will try, and they have been trying a long, long time. We have to be united. We have to be, you know, uh, we, we, what will be the basics of our manus, manusher junne. Yes. Or, shabaro pare manus shotto taharo pare nai. So we have to stick on that point. Then nobody can hamper our So at the end of the day, it has to be a united fight against terrorism. Of course. As our Prime Minister has said, as your Prime Minister has said, yes. in 2008, when she was just elected, even before she took over, yes. in January 2009, she said that there should be a joint battle against terrorism. Of we course. hope there's a people's movement against terror. On that note, we'll go for a short break. Stan will be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with Mr. Liaka Tali Lucky, the Director General of the Bangladesh Shilpa Kala Academy and a well-known actor and director. Mr. Liaka Tali Lucky, you are in Guwahati. You uh, we have, is being conferred with the Dr. Bhupen Hazarika Biotic Chrome International Award 2018. Uh, Biotic Chrome, of course, uh, is a very, very well-known uh, socio-cultural organization, very, very proactive people, and they are working a lot in furthering India-Bangladesh relations. How do you feel? Of course, you have received many awards already. How do you feel at receiving an award in the name of Dr. Bhupen Hazarika? This is, this is the best award ever I had. And I am very much grateful to Bethikram, the people of uh, Assam, the government of Assam. Um, you know, when I arrived, I said, First, I would like to go to the memorial of yes. Dr. Bhupen Hajarika, and I have seen the nicely uh, it has been established. I was, I'm, I bow to the government, I bow to the people of Assam. You know, what is my feeling? When I met one Assami people, I feel that he's Bhupen Hajarika. Everybody is Bhupen Hajarika to me. So uh, why why does that feeling come? I don't know. I don't know. Really, I'm telling because uh, he made me uh, Liakatari lucky. You know, in in my election, uh, Dhaka University Central Student Union, my party was not that strong at that time. You know, but I was popular singing the song of Dr. Bhupen Hazarika. Even of uh, the uh, student from the opposition, they came to me. I will, or we will vote for you because you sing the song of Dr. Pupin Hajarika. And I got the highest vote, highest number of vote. And not only that, after 1975... You were the cultural secretary I of the Central a, Dhaka University yeah, Students' elected, Union. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Which uh, year was this? It was 1981. 81, okay. 81. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, Dada went to Bangladesh and he asked me, I have a program in the Bangladesh television. 
please you you uh, select what what sing uh, what song are you sing in, in this program i said that every song is uh, very popular still i i, I no, no, every song is popular i mean you know a couple of years ago when uh, uh, from dhaka i landed in chittagong and we were in a part of a team and we were in the coach the moment we got into the coach uh, you know we found the bhupendra songs uh, being played in the audio visual uh, uh, system you know and uh, everyone seems to be enjoying even today that is the scene isn't it nothing has changed nothing changed he is becoming popular more and more popular every every time i don't know uh, you you can understand why he is becoming popular even you know i was in the job in yeah. uh, 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 as director general when i heard that he has been hospitalized in mumbai and i was trying to you know go to mumbai yeah. to see him mm -hmm. but i i was yeah. uh, confirm that he will be coming back but when i heard in the newspaper that uh, he is in the ccu in coma and uh, you know i used to talk to him uh, in that situation i was listening the song he is singing and you know when i got the news then i was it was my outburst and the song i heard in the in that situation that is mongol ho ei shotoke mongol shobar mongol ho ei shotoke mongol shobar ghore ghore shanti anuk samriddhi apar he mongol ho ei shotoke mongol shobar lovely lovely absolutely uh, so Today, 92nd birth anniversary. You are being conferred this Bhupen Hazarika Biotechnology International Award. Uh, what is your message to your own people in Bangladesh, and what would you like the people here in Assam? Uh, actually, in 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 the short period of time we come to the, you know this world, love is very important. yeah uh, you know you cannot uh, live alone you have to live with the other people uh, with the society and bolu ki tumar khoti jiboni rathoi nodi par hoy tumake dhore durbol manush jodi that is it should be the philosophy that is yeah the philosophy i am i'm carrying and i will be carrying till my end of my life you know absolutely mr lakatli lucky uh, i mean we need more people to propagate this kind of philosophy and you are pushing soft power diplomacy we hope the indian subcontinent becomes a better place to live in and of, uh, of course. course there's be more people to people contact and that as two neighbors you can change your friends but you cannot change your neighbors perhaps we need to stay comfortably and happily and peacefully ever after thank you very much for being on my show it was a pleasure having you here thank you thank you very much pleasure. for this thank you. program Thank you.